Hello everyone and welcome to Windows 10 21H1 build 21354 releases of today. So the main feature being the no nose and interest that I suddenly cannot show because I didn't qualify to get it. It's random, it's not every insider gets it, so that's a rip. But I can finally demonstrate the virtual desktops that you can have individual papers now, which I mentioned in a previous video, but I couldn't really show because my Windows was not licensed. Now I fixed that issue and we can finally have the wallpapers and they're working as intended. They were not before, they fixed it. And now we can have different desktops with different wallpapers, one for work, one for gaming and so on, which I find pretty nice and it's something that has been around on, on Linux for quite some time. So I wonder why didn't it adopt that sooner, but it's, it's finally here, so that's what counts. Icons wise, not a lot of changes here. It's still pretty much the same. I still don't quite dig it, honestly. Like if they were to keep the color, like keep a standard color and just, you know, add the icons, that, that would be better. Like, okay, play here and the music symbol, the mountains and stuff to download documents and so on, but with, uh, you know, with an uniform color between all of them, them, that would be much better in my opinion, but yeah. So yeah, icons wise, they've added a couple more as well. I cannot pinpoint exactly which are new and what is not really new, but paint is now individual. It's not part of the system anymore. It has its own, it's an app now which I find pretty neat. So here's classic paint again, people wanting it back and it is back. Thankfully, because the new paint is questionable, but yeah. Then we have Paint 3D, which is gonna get nuked out of the world soon. Notepad with the new icon, which I don't quite dig. Honestly, I missed the old icon, but you know. They gotta change things. It's about time. It's gonna be a whole revamp for 21H2. And one can hope it's gonna look a lot better and more consistent, more visually consistent than what we got right now. So as the video would be quite short uh, with just the features that I can show because I don't have the news and interests, which would be the highlight of the show, but you know, I wasn't picked. So, oh boy. Let's demonstrate a concept. I mean, not exactly a concept per se, because it's something widely available. The Files app, which is available on a Windows Store. You can, you know, install with one click. It's pretty lightweight, look, looks pretty nice, honestly. And it can work with tabs, which that would be I like ideal, honestly. If I could like have a wish list for 21H2 or even 21H1, something like that. Like with more uniform icons like that that's a proper design scheme like in my opinion of course it does vary it's very subjective there's people that actually like it the way it looks but uh, i would dig it if it were like quite that way honestly very simple very bland not very you know overdone or anything it does what it has to do and it's got the tabs which Honestly, it's something that we really, really need. It makes the workflow a lot easier and neater. Like, honestly, like, I mean, look at that. You can just do your stuff a lot quicker this way. Yeah. You know, it's just brilliant. Something that I really wish we had on stock Windows. And thankfully, it's not too hard to install. So, you know, it's something that it can easily, yeah. Uh, fix quote unquote because it's not a problem per se it's just something that you know feels a little odd considering that all the other major operating systems got tabs and work significantly better than this but yeah so as i mentioned before that would be a very short video as there's not a lot new to show other than the news and interest that i didn't get so hope you guys liked it I'm going to uh, try and cover every new build, both for Windows 10 and Windows Server 2022, so stay tuned for that. Feedback's much appreciated, so comment sections right down below. Feel free to leave your opinions. Input's much, much, much appreciated. So you all take care. Have a great one. Stay safe. And see you in the next one.